This is the Peugeot 5008. It's a practical family car which comes with seven useful seats and despite it being 11 years since the release of Vauxhall Zafira and 13 years since the original Renault Scenic, it's Peugeot's first ever attempt at making a compact MPV. And shock horror, this is actually the first pug I've seen in some time that isn't an absolute munter. Okay, so this clamshell bonnet is a little bit tall and a bit odd next to such a steeply raked windscreen, but check out the nose. There's no fish mouth anymore. And if you come around the side, there's this lovely chromed window line, which finishes with a nice cheeky kink at the back. And of course, it's got the must have accessory of the moment for any respectable family car, a greenhouse roof. And it's as impressive on the inside. Not only are there seven seats, but there are seven seating combinations, including one that turns your MPV into a full on van. And for your most precious cargo, a couple of telly screens can be ordered for an extra 500 quid to keep them quiet, and a curtain airbag, which stretches the length of the car, keeps them safe. Up front, it's just as interesting for mum and dad, thanks to this funky new single moulded dash, which gets loads of chrome and nice buttons that do stuff, and it all feels really well built. There's a screen that pops up in the middle for your sat-nav, and then there's this really cool fighter pilot style heads up display which projects your speed right into your eye line so you never have to take your eyes off the road. It's a £450 option but it's well worth checking. This particular model is the 110 brake horsepower 1.6 litre HDI Sport and out of the two 1.6 litre petrol engines and the other two more powerful 2 litre diesels this is going to be the best seller. It does 53.3 miles per gallon on the combined cycle does 0 to 60 in 12 seconds and has a top speed, should you and your family ever find yourselves on the Autobahn, of 112 miles an hour. It's never going to set any records, but the unit is smooth and power delivery linear. Part sharing is a fact of life for car companies these days, so unsurprisingly, the 5008 shares the same platform as Citroen C4 Grand Picasso, as well as its smaller siblings, the 308 and 3008. Well, that's no bad thing because the ride and handling seem to be pretty good in this case. It's definitely been set up for comfort, but when you get to really low speeds, the ride just seems to get annoyingly fidgety. Seems too much patters going on underneath you. But I like the steering. It's accurate and light. I just don't like it when it's coupled to this sloppy six-speed Peugeot gearbox. Shifting cogs should be fun. It should be direct and sharp. And this one just feels a bit limp. Niggles aside though, this expansive glass and the raised driving position make you feel very relaxed. All the instruments are easy to read and I just love this heads up display. It feels like this car has been designed by parents. Every little added feature in here has been done to make your life with a car full of kids a little bit easier. And it's well priced too. Starting at just under 17 grand, it's only 400 pounds more expensive than Britain's most popular MPV, the Vauxhall Zafira. If you're a minicab driver, you should be pleased to learn that all of the rear seats come with enough leg and headroom to accommodate one full-size drunk person. With just about enough boot space left over for a realistically sized pile of luggage. Really great Peugeots haven't exactly been plentiful in recent years. But this car has genuinely surprised me. The 5008 offers a very practical way of transporting a big family for not a lot of cash. In an era when saloons are trying to be coupes and 4x4s are trying to be sports cars, I like the honesty of this Peugeot. There's no marketing spiel here. It's just a compact MPV and a very good one at that. <laughs>